Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to execute tests with Robot Framework and upload the results in a test rail with the help of TestRail CLI. This will allow you to centralize your automated test results and take advantage of all the analytical and reporting capabilities TestRail provides. I'm using the browser library version of Robot Framework. You can find the example I'm showing here in our GitHub repository. I have already cloned the repo, so let's very quickly look at the prerequisites for running the tests with this project. You'll need Node.js and Python installed on your local machine. I'm going to quickly check if I have these prerequisites with command Python version and Node version. OK, I'm good to go. Now let's check the tests folder. In the footer tests, I'm verifying some links in the test rail homepage. And in the homepage tests, I'm doing another verification of various links. You can see I've kept the automated tests code simple so that the focus of this tutorial remains on how to import the execution results. So let's start the execution. Back to the readme file, the very first step is to install the robot framework browser library version. So I'll copy the command pip install robot framework browser and run it. You can see it's been installed. As a part of the next step, I have to initialize the browser library using the command rf browser init. As soon as I run this command, you can see that some of the node dependencies are being installed and it's initializing the library. It can take a couple of minutes to install all the dependencies, so let's fast forward a bit. OK, the browser library has been initiated. Let me clear the console to go to the third step. Now, I have to install the test rail CLI which is the instrument that helps to upload the results from our local system to TestRail. So I'm running the command pip install TestRail CLI. To use the TestRail CLI, you'll need to enable the TestRail API and create a custom field if you want to map your automated test cases code to the actual TestRail cases. Check our documentation to learn how to do that if you haven't done so. After it's installed, I can run the tests and generate the results under the test folder with this command. My tests are running now. The footer test has passed, and the second test has failed. I deliberately wanted this second test to fail, so you can see that even for the failed test cases, the results can be successfully uploaded with the help of TestRail CLI. Now that the tests are done, you should be able to see your results on the reports folder. Robot Framework will automatically generate three reports files, output.xml, log.html, and report.html. By opening the report.html, you can see a nicely formatted robot framework HTML report. But to upload the results to TestRail, I'm going to use the output.xml file. And to do so, I'm running this command here. Let's try to understand this command. So I'm calling the TestRail CLI using a minus Y option. What exactly does this mean? The minus Y option is going to create all the entities for you in TestRail. And I mean everything, the test run, the test cases, and the test results. This is what we call a code first approach. Check our documentation and the TestRail Academy to learn about the specification first approach. Then I'm using the minus C command in specifying the configurations in the YAML file. Where exactly is this YAML file? Here, you can see my YAML file. The first configuration, as you can see, is the host, which is the URL for my test rail instance. The next configuration is the project. When uploading my test results into test rail, the CLI will create a test run, and that test run will reside in one project. So this is the name of the project where I would like to have my automated test run in test rail. The username and the password are pretty straightforward. This is the username and the password by which the CLI can authenticate in the test rail instance. Basically, the username and the password that we're going to use to log into test rail. The last configuration I have here is the title. This is the title of the test run that is going to be created for this particular test results. Let's go back to the readme file. Again, minus C is specifying the configurations, and after minus C, you specify the YAML file. Then I have parse robot and minus F. The file name after the minus F option should match the path to your report file. Here, I have the report in its default location, but keep that in mind if you change the location. You can also check other command line options by checking the embedded CLI help through the command trcli minus minus help. Let me clear my console and run this command. 
As you can see, first of all, it has verified the project name, the title name. Then it parsed the robot framework report, created the test run, and added the results. Three out of three. It means all the three test cases were uploaded to test rail, and it's also uploaded one attachment from our failed test. All this in 11 seconds. Here, you have the link to quickly check the results of the test in your test rail instance. In the header, you can see the name of the project I specified in the YAML file, and here is my robot framework automated test run. There's a summary and a graph at the top, so you can see the current status in a glance. And below, you'll find all my three test cases. Expanding one test case, you're able to see all the corresponding steps, for example. And in case of a failed test, this is useful because you'll know exactly in which step the test failed. In this failed test, the first step is green, so it passed. And the second step has failed. And you can view a screenshot from the moment of the error. Now that you have centralized your test results on TestRail, you can aggregate both your manual and automated testing efforts on reports that show you the full test coverage surrounding your app, and even track test automation progress. You can also report a bug directly from the automated test result to an issue tracker of your preference, as you would do for your manual test results.